Hi, my name is Judy Roberts, and I work in the patient communications department of Specialty Eye Institute. As far as what happened to my vision over time, it's one of those things where you don't even realize that your vision's getting any worse. And I've had keratoconus all, all my life, so I'm used to my vision not being perfect. But over time, I realized that it was a little more difficult driving at night, um, seeing things, reading, you know, and I would found myself blinking a lot to try to keep things in focus. And then I went to the doctor a few years ago. He said, well, you have the beginning of cataracts. And to me, I couldn't really see anything different until I would say about a year ago, things started to get a little cloudier. And I really, the first time I really noticed them was after my initial cataract evaluation, which made everything look like it was smoky because my eyes were so dilated. And I found that, I found that a little humorous. I'm like, oh, okay, I can see them now. And um, it just did progress over time. And uh, finally, it was at the point where I'm like, okay, I have to do something. I had so much anxiety, I wouldn't even drive at night because the halos and everything from the oncoming traffic were so bad. And even looking at traffic lights, those were difficult too sometimes. So it was really important for me to not be on the road <laughs> when it got dark outside. During the day was okay because it was lighter, but I could still tell a difference. Like I couldn't read signs as well, traffic signs as well. So it was, it got to the point where eventually I, I knew, you know, it was time to do something about them. The procedure was so quick. I remember for just that flash of a moment after the lens was in place and got polished, how bright everything was. And it was then, you know, that, you know, inside I was just cheering. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can see clearly. And that's what it really looks like. Um, and so from a patient perspective, it's, it's over before. <laughs> Before, before you even think it began. <laughs> um, it's so quick and they make you feel so comfortable. The doctor has had a wonderful bedside manner. And I just, I can't thank him enough because it was just an overall positive experience. Since having cataract surgery, probably the one thing that really comes to mind is, wow, everything is so much brighter than I thought it was. But I have recently started using the analogy with people so they really get an understanding of the difference between having cataracts and not having cataracts is, imagine over time you had a piece of wax paper put over a painting and you just got used to seeing it in that hazy state it's like removing that wax paper and now it's so clear and you're like oh my god I, I thought it was beautiful before but now it's really spectacular and um, th that's the way I feel I, I feel almost like I've been given you know new life in some way because now I can really appreciate the beauty of things whereas before you know it's like oh I accepted it it was just this way and so it's it's nice to have kind of that fresh look on just everything that was there before so it has made it a little easier for me to communicate with patients you know on more on their level what they're gonna expect what to expect and you know, just kind of calm their fears. And I think it also helps them when I tell them, oh, I've been through this. And they're like, oh, you have? Yeah, I've been through this. And you know what? I would do it all over again a hundred times if I had to. <laughs>
And so it's really helpful and it seems to ease some of their fears or concerns. And um, I just, I, like I said, I'd do it a hundred times over if I had to.